What's up guys, Jeff Cavalier, AthleteX.com. Today we're talking about shoulder pain and how to get rid of that nagging pain discomfort that you get inside your shoulder every time you lift your arm overhead. And it doesn't necessarily have to be during shoulder exercises or pressing exercises. Even getting in position to do some tricep exercises or even a squat can become challenging if you have that shoulder pain. I'm gonna show you how we're gonna get rid of it in four steps. We're gonna actually use Jesse here as our model. We're targeting four areas here. Now first of all, we know he has this terrible childhood tattoo over here. Now he's gonna learn how to count because he's got new tattoos with courtesy of the muscle marker of one. Here we're gonna target the rounded shoulder. The second thing we're gonna do is we're gonna work on this area up here, the rotator cuff, because it's gonna play a big important point on your shoulder pain. Number three, we always have to hit the lat here too because it plays a critical role as you'll see. And then finally, right, Right there, how's that Jesse? Right here, number four, thoracic extension. We wanna make sure that we're taking care of that as well. So one by one, we're gonna attack each of these areas. All right, so right away, I pointed out number one here are these rounded shoulders. Guys, I actually did an entire video dedicated to how to fix rounded shoulders. Jesse was in that one too, actually, because when he first started out, show him what you look like, Jesse. It was more like that. And a lot of you will look like that, especially if you spend any time sitting at a desk at all. It happens, our bodies start to adapt in this way, but you need to fix that. I'm gonna link that video in the description below. I'm also gonna link it as the main video at the end of this video, because I, I wanna give it its full justice. It's a whole step-by-step -step approach to making sure that we can address this one problem. But why does it matter right away? Because in order to have full mobility at the shoulder, right, because the shoulder's a very mobile joint, you better be allowing it to explore all of its range of motion because of the ball and socket by not doing things to screw that up and putting blockades in the way. And that's exactly what you do when you round your shoulders because the anatomy of the shoulder joint itself actually prevents elevation of the shoulder beyond a certain point because the bones actually start to rub up against each other based on the structure of one inside the other. You need to allow it to be free and open, which actually leads us into our second area, the rotator cuff. You need to have the ability to externally rotate, but try it yourself. Get here, round your shoulders, and then try to lift your arm as high as you can. You're gonna hit a natural block, but that doesn't have to be the case if you address it like I show you in that video. All right, so leading on from there, we know that if we wanna get out of that rounded shoulder posture, the rotator cuff is gonna be critical to help you to do that. And it's not a single muscle, guys. The rotator cuff consists of four muscles that work to help to externally rotate the shoulder. Three of them actually do. And we wanna get that external rotation. Now, we don't wanna just do that through strengthening. What we also wanna do is know that we have the mobility into external rotation because we lose that. So what we do is we take a band right here, we hook it around our arm just like this, we put our arm up back behind our head here, and then we step out. So the band is pulling me back, and I've got my arm driving upward here into external rotation here at the shoulder, and I can feel that nice stretch and mobilization back into there. So with Jesse, the same thing can be done. He goes and he sticks his arm through the band. It's anchored up high. He puts it up back behind his head, and he steps out and through, getting again this elevation with external rotation because we know that in order to get the two of them to work together, that's the only way to get that arm up overhead. Remember we talked about the rounded shoulder. I get blocked here. If I actually externally rotate my arm and raise again, it actually goes right up without any issues. If you want pain-free pressing, you're gonna have to make sure that you maintain and maximize all the external rotation that you have in your shoulder in order to do that. All right, number three, you have to make sure that you're attacking the lats. Why? Why are the lats so important? Why are they causing a lot of overhead shoulder pain? Because they're, they're restricting your mobility overhead if you're not addressing them. I'm talking about not just the stretch, but the tissue quality itself by working on rolling out the lat. Here's how and here's why. If you look at the lat itself, it comes from the back of the arm here and it goes all the way down into the back attaching to the uh, vertebrae in the, in the mid-back, into the low back, and even attaching to the pelvis itself through fascia. So we actually have this connection between your pelvis and the upper arm. If this is tight, how is this getting raised up in front of you? It's not, so we have to make sure we address it. So what we do is we get into a setup with a band here and with a foam roller. And we wrap the band around the arm and then we position ourselves on top of the foam roller like this. Now, what's cool is as I roll back, I'm actually getting some distraction and elevation here from the band. It's pulling my arm up into a greater stretch here of the lat. But we don't wanna just get 
this side of the lat here, from the side, more importantly what you want to do is you want to roll flat, and you'll feel it right away, on top of it and roll that way, okay? And Jesse will actually demonstrate the agony of this while he does it. So he wraps it right around his arm here. He turns on his side, so he's getting the lat from the side there and rolling back and forth. And he, oh, he's groaning. I'll get the microphone right here. <laughs> and now, even better, roll flat on top that way oh. and now go. So nobody does this. Nobody ever rolls actually the, the, the mid portion of the muscle. No one ever really works on that. When we stretch, we're working on the two end points, the beginning and the end of the muscle, but we're not really working on the middle. And that's where we, where we harbor all the tightnesses that are preventing the range of motion that you need to actually get that arm up overhead. All right, now step four to fixing this thing all together, and it has to be step four because we need to have that lat flexibility in place first before we try this, is to attack the thoracic spine. Again, an area that we do not pay enough attention to, especially when it comes to trying to raise our shoulder over our head without pain. We think, oh, it's all a shoulder thing. No, the shoulder is always going to be a slave to the joints below it, and that here is the thoracic spine. So what we do is we put ourselves in position here on anything, it could be a bench, that we have to be able to get our elbows up on top of, and then most importantly, don't do it yet, Jesse, the main thing is gonna be dropping through the thoracic spine, letting everything sink through. So come back up to the top again. From here, drop the hips down, just like that, and that gives us the thoracic extension that we need, but now we can make it better. We can reinforce the lat stretch that we had going on before by wrapping a band around our hands just like this, positioning the elbows on top of the bench, and then trying to spread the band apart, which is gonna activate, again, external rotation at the shoulder, reinforcing everything that we've been working on. And then from here, Jesse's gonna to try to dive down to allow the arms to travel up higher, or at least relative to his body here, which increases the thoracic extension here, demands, and gets a better stretch on everything. Thoracic extension at the same time that we had the lat stretch going on. The activation of the external rotators happens because of the band. So he's just trying to pull it back in here. He holds 30 seconds. Now come up, relax. Okay, again, the first move, drop down. You can see the roundedness here through the, through the thoracic spine. Now, there you go, drop it in through there. Chest out. Chest pushes out as far as you can. That opens up the thoracic spine. Then he reinforces it by dipping down, increasing the stretch on the lat, and also activating the external rotators. You do all four of these things, and I promise you, you're going to start noticing far less pain whenever you go and lift your shoulders up overhead. So there you have it guys, there's a four step approach to eliminating that pain that you get, that nagging shoulder pain every time you try to lift your arm up overhead. It doesn't have to be there, especially if you take a numeric approach to it, literally one, two, three, four. I think I'm gonna make Jesse keep those tattoos because it really does complement this Mickey Mouse tattoo over here well. If you're looking for a program, guys, that puts the science back in strength, that realizes that all this stuff matters, even when you're thinking about lifting overhead, it's the stuff that happens in the back. It's the stuff that happens around the side. It's all the things that happen and all the joints around that that are ultimately going to influence how you perform. So it all matters. We put all the science into all of our programs over at athletenext.com. If you found the video helpful, leave your comments and thumbs up below. Let me know what else you want me to cover. I'll do my best to do that for you guys in the days and weeks ahead. All right, guys, see you soon.